Hello, welcome back here. And today we have Lico 415 at strings. And this question is giving two non negative integer num1 and num2 represented as string, return the sum of num1 and num2 as a string. So this must be solved without using any building function. Okay, all right. I got the idea. The reason of this question is. You know, you, you cannot carry a really big digit, like for example, all this digit inside integer, because this one is definitely overflow. I mean, or you can use long. I mean, eventually you will still get overflow if you have a super big number, unless you have a built-in function. So that built-in function also same logic as what we are doing right now. So that carry a really, really long uh, numbers without having overflow issue. So we can see, um, yeah, let's take a look at example right here. One, one plus one, two, three equal to one, three, four. I mean, that, this is pretty straightforward. The idea of this one, yeah, let's get this example. Now we have this situation. We always have go to the last digit. Just it's really like a simulation question. Um, if we go to the last digit and add it to them, because this add up become thirteen, we need to have a carry to one because it's over ten. Then the you see thirteen. We only carry a three here. And we have a carry one. We we'll add it to the next digit right here. So now five and seven add up to twelve plus the carry that we have from the previous one. So we add three. Also because this one sum up more than ten, same carry equal to one. So now still have one digit here because carry one add carry two. Four, so we have five. Then five, three, three. So here, I mean, that's the basic logic. The code is just exactly doing what we for this example. So now we have a length equal to nums one dot length, and going to the last digit of the first number. I just write this code um, quicker, then I can explain it later. So now we have a link going to the last digit of the first number, b link same last digit here. Carry start from zero, and we have to have while loop. You have to loop until all of them are finished, which a link. Bigger equal than zero or B length bigger equal than zero or carry not equal to I mean equal to one. One of them are fulfilled, so we still need to keep looping. So let's say with A length bigger or equal to zero, that means there's a digit for a number A. So what we're gonna do is carry. We, we add those number. For example, here, if it's one, we add it to the carry. If this three, add it to the carry. The carry will capture everything. Nums one dot carry at a link. So that's the character. We have to minus carry the zeros to get the real integer number. After the carry capture that, we move the a link to become a link minus minus. Uh, we'll do the same thing for b link to capture b numbers. Two.
Okay. After you capture A and B, so what we're gonna do is look at carry. We get the last digit of carry into the string builder. Oh yeah, so I forgot the string builder right here. B is go to new string builder. So string builder insert. We insert to this first, I mean, first location. And then what we're going to insert is the last digit of carry. The last digit of carry will be carry mark 10. So now we need to change carry. If carry is less than 10, then carry should be 0. If carry more than 10, so carry will be 1. So in that case, just you know, carry my, I mean, equal to carry divided by 10. After this whole thing, the whole loop right here, we capture everything to the string builder. So we return string builder to, to string as the answer. Link can also uh, we don't have pass here. Okay, it looks good. Cool, and that's it for this question. Yeah, if you have any question, comment it below, and let's don't waste more time, and then we can go to the next question. See you there. Bye.